asking permission from our Shaykh to say a couple of words. Inshallah, he will send us something that is going to give us benefit here and hereafter. If he's not giving permission, if he's not sending, we cannot speak. Nothing for us to say. Everything they've said already. Well, everything that we have to do is just to take and to put it in our lives. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So you're asking the questions about fake news and real news. Real news looks like fake news. Fake news looks like real news. And now people are caught up in this. And even going so far as to say all those things that is happening in Aleppo, in Halib, it is just a setup. This is Ahir Zaman. Make no mistake that it is. If you understand this Ahir Zaman, you're going to be able to live like this Ahir Zaman, not Awal Zaman, not spring, like Arab spring. This is not the spring. This is the winter. You understand? Winter of our discontent. <laughs> this is the winter. It's finished. Inshallah, after that, spring will come. But spring is only going to come with Hazrat Mahdi. So you're saying, what do we have to do? You're seeing so many of these things and it pains us. It hurts you. People are believing it. People are believing that everything that is happening, for example, in Aleppo, is all set up. These are all actors. Is all Welcome to the Ahir Zaman. Now, we must go back. When we look at all the confusion of these days, we must go back to what the Holy Prophet is saying. Forget all the politicians. Forget all the statesmen. Forget all the philosophers. Forget all the writers. Forget the people. Look at what our Prophet is saying. And we are taking it from our sheikhs. When Ahir Zaman is coming, when there's so much confusion everywhere, what is the advice? Did he say, والسلام, go out into the streets? Did he say that? Did he say, go up to the front and try to change something? Did he say that? Or did he say, when the time comes, pull yourself back? Who is he speaking to? Speaking to the believers. Pull yourself back. Pull yourself back and run to the mountains. And if you have one sheep, take that sheep. Take milk from it. Few possessions that you're going to have, live by that. Little knowledge that you're going to have, live by that. Don't go around searching everywhere. Running around everywhere. Running around the whole world to get it. Because everything is confusion. If we know we're living in this Ahir Zaman, this is the situation, then we must know how to live in it. We must know how to live in it. When there is so much confusion everywhere, we must learn how to live. We must look to those ones who are teaching us how to do it. Otherwise, we're going to get caught up. Because these are the days, we're living these days. These are the days that our sheikhs used to speak about for decades, black is going to be white, white is going to be black. Correct? We are living in those days. So what is it that we have to do? To get involved? No. We stay away and we understand what that confusion is. Is it a setup? Of course it's not a setup. Uh, people are confused. From individuals to groups, from communities to nations, they are confused. Because they're looking to everyone else except for what the Holy Prophet is saying and what the awliyaullah, the inheritors, not the scholars, they are not the inheritors especially the scholars of today. There's a big confusion that is coming from them. Those are not the inheritors of the prophets. 
majority of the scholars, they are in the payroll of the regimes that they speak for. East or west, north or south, it doesn't matter. Who are those ones who are not in the payroll? The sheikhs. You have to look carefully. Those are the inheritors. And look to see what are they doing. Sheriff Hani has warned us enough how to live in these times. It hurts us. What are we going to do? We're we going to go up there and we're going to speak. We're we going to do something. We may. All of us. We may do something. All the Muslims may gather to do something. Even the whole world tries to do something. You will not change any single thing. You cannot change it. Because Allah has already given this hundred years to the tyrants. He did not give it to the mu'mins, to the tyrants. And when these, ty when these days they come, they say, pull back, worship, sit on your sajada, pull your tasbih, be simple, keep to yourselves. Don't get involved into so much confusion that is out there. Otherwise, you're going to get sucked into the confusion too. Are we saying we don't know what is happening? Of course we know what is happening. Are we saying that we are confused, we don't know what is right and wrong? We know, Alhamdulillah. From the teachings of our Shaykh, we know that. But, there is no permission to do anything. Do you understand? This is the most difficult part. This is patience that we are talking about. This is the time when we have to sit and we have to clean ourselves. We have to live simple. We have to be strong because that time is going to come when we will need all this. That time is going to come when we need the strength. If we are not preparing now, we are not going to be ready then that time. So leave them, inshallah. Ya yeah, Allah. Keep us away from confusion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put his protection on us through the blessings of his holy prophet in our shaykhs. May we always be strong and be on the siratul mustaqim and not be confused. May Allah take away fitna from our hearts, from our communities and from this world inshallah. May we not be those fitna makers. May we be the ones who are going to be staying strong in this way, welcoming their return, inshallah, and welcoming the huzur of Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam. Wa min Allahu tafiq al-Fatiha.